Well, once again, it's that magical time of year where we come together and express our opinions on the very best of the best. And with 2023 finally at a close, we're going to kick things off with the 2023 best adaptation from source material into toys with my choice. Number one being the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates by Super 7. Quite a choice, you say, and I imagine most of you will express that down in the comments below. However, I ask you this. What toy line out of 2023 perfectly captured the original source material, cartoon, movie, or otherwise? And there were many to choose from. Don't get me wrong, but having been a collector of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from its inception to our shores in the early 90s, all throughout Bandai's run into the Hasbro Lightning Collection, and now with Super 7, I can officially say we finally have Power Ranger toys based off of the old Fox Kids show. The Zords definitely take the cake. And I'll say that the toys for the Zords were always a mixed bag, right? Some of them worked, some of them didn't. Some had this going on, it wasn't quite right, and yada yada. This is the Tyrannosaurus Red Ranger Zord. And much like that, we also have the Dragon Zord for the Green Ranger. And I love the swap out parts and pieces. These are no longer toys per se, these are now art pieces. They're very much a displayable option instead of playing with these, right? Especially the Megazord. They've captured the man in the suit, and that is one aspect of growing up watching the show and now looking back and going, of course, I didn't understand that as a kid, but I absolutely love what these represent to the evil space aliens like Goldar. Not only does the scale work with the Rangers, but he can also put him with the Megazord, the Zords in general, and he looks fantastic. Moving on then to Finster, one of the most creepy looking evil space aliens in the show with all his little putty men and whatnot. It's a great figure with some awesome cloth goods. The Putty Patroller, is a standout because once again, we've never gotten this many accessories to represent all the different putties we saw in the show. And I love that on top of all those looks, you can also make your putty look like the Lord Zed putty. And not only with the evil space aliens, but we're also getting the monsters like King Sphinx and having this as one of the first couple of these Power Ranger Ultimates that I got, he's awesome. Just the colors alone, the way he scales with the Zords, the Rangers, again, it looks like the old Japanese footage brought to life with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Lord Zed, he comes with several inner swapping parts. He even comes with his snake that then turns in to the giant Z staff. I love all the different wires, the looks, the metalized parts of silver. Tarita Repulsa with her giant staff, her big ol' lion's mane, all the different head portraits, and of course the green candle. And not only that, but you also get a throne, which is sold separately, of course, for Lord Zed, and Rita comes packaged with her telescope. That's world building, that's displayability. And again, in many ways, this is the first time seeing this for Power Ranger toys. Now, Green Rangers, I have a dozen of them. This one though, they finally managed to capture the very streamlined look of the Rangers themselves. That coupled with all the show specific weapons, I love that. There are several swap out pieces to capture the Hasbro remastered look or even just an unmask, which let's be honest, isn't doing Super 7 any favors. But I do love that you can go the classic route with the classic toys. Now, speaking of Rangers, the Green Ranger definitely goes, whether he's good or evil, in your collection with his fellow Mighty Morphins, but the Mighty Morphins themselves, from the Zords to the evil space aliens to the Power Rangers, that's ultimately how I see it. These aren't perfect Power Rangers, but for me, I love the look of the show that's established. I love that you can go old school with Bandai. Again, the head portraits, the unmasked, are not doing Super 7 any justice here. In fact, I will say, it's really the show-specific items that make these for me, but it's when you combine all the weapons together, that's just cool. And for me, the displayable options for these, because I'm not a huge stickler for articulation, is 
perfect. I absolutely love the way that these look. And of course, that is why the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates by Super 7 is my number one choice in the category of 2023's best adaptation from the original source material into toys. And of course, I invite you all at home to play along. The criteria being has to have come out in 2023. They also have to be based off a source material movie, cartoon, comic book, or otherwise, and what would be your best of the best that you would choose. And keep in mind, this is not a best Power Rangers video. This is the best adaptation into toys. So many to choose from, but as always, you have heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We got about four more of these to go. And I can't wait for you all to hear the rest of my picks. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.